Espíritu Santo está exponiendo la luz toda obra del enemigo. Say so what? Have you done to her? Say so what? I was sent to destroy her light. Okay, you were sent to destroy her light. Yes. Why? Because what has she done to you? She was born. She was born. Oh, there were many ancestral spirits. Spirits from the sky, spirits from the sea, spirits sent by Satan, our master, to destroy her. Okay, spirits sent by Satan, your master. Yes. Speak louder. Yes. So what have you destroyed in her life? Everything. Her career? Everything. Her marriage? Everything. Why? Why do you derive joy in destroying? You wicked demon. Ooh, we love destroying those who have the light. Oh, you love destroying those yes. who have the light. We disappoint her. We make her sin. We manipulate her spirit. You make her do what? Sin. Okay, you make her sin. Yes. You listen to that? Satan operates Ooh, through sin. We are the owners of sin. Oh, you are the owners of sin. Mm. Uh, how do you operate? How do you lure people into sin? Mm, well, we live in them. We okay. live in them. Mm. How do you entice them into sin? Huh? Well, we take control. We live in their body members since conception of every single person. We take control. We Those who are truly them. born again, genuinely born again, do you have access to them? Yes. How? Do. Because we can manipulate them. Oh, the you can manipulate them? Yes, we're stronger than them. You listen to that? So, it doesn't matter who you are. We're strong. And we are coming for you. No matter who you think you are. Whether you think you're somebody great. My master's watching. Your what? My master's watching. Who is your master? Satan. Satan is your master. I've sent many to this one because of the light. I've sent many because of who she goes. Ooh, I hate him. I hate her pastor. Oh, why? Because he's like your master. Ah. TV Joshua. Yes. Ooh. Okay. He's training her to be a deliverance minister, except she doesn't want to. We've made her to believe she's a nobody. Those who have the light of Jesus Christ, do you have access to them? Mm, we do, but uh, it's hard. It's hard to, we have to come with many. We've come with trillions against this little girl. Ah. Because we don't want America to know the truth. We don't want them to know. So yeah. you, you, you're a destroyer? Yeah. You did not join destroying. Yes, she, oh, I hate her. She watches you all the time. She watches TV Joshua, Apostle Makananisa. She watches Shepherd Bushiri. She watches all the men of God. She learns from them. She prays. And uh, you're not happy with that? Why should I be? You know, I've made her to be so pathetic. Every time she tries to worship for hours, I come in and I steal it. I make her think of other things. I manipulate her mind. Oh, you manipulate, manipulate her mind. Yes, I've made this church that she attends so poor. There's five people in attendance because Satan steals them all. We steal them. Oh, you steal them? Yes. Okay. So your mission is to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Yeah, that's what we do. She's cried out to God. Have you ever heard of Job? She's cried out to God so many times to deliver her. She would be dead by now if she wasn't under the anointing of the man of God. She okay. What have you done to her family? I've stolen them. Her whole family hates her, except for her brother, who also attends the church. Okay. Can you see? Everyone Look for them. a living church. Get involved with them. Ah! Out! Ah! Out! No, no, no. The lion of the tribe of Judah has triumphed. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amy, tell us, where are you from? Um, I'm from Brenton, Washington. 
And what were the reasons that you wanted to be um, at this conference and at the prayer line? Well, I'm really an admirer of Apostle John Chi. I watch his videos all the time, um, and I wanted to meet another man of God and to um, receive deliverance and all the blessings that the Lord had for me. What was happening in your life when it seemed like it was so normal, but you thought it was a little bit off? Well, um, I kept eating in the dream. Um, that's one of the main reasons uh, why I was here to uh, just to receive deliverance. I kept eating like the demons kept feeding me like food, like uh, drumsticks, ice cream, uh, popsicles, uh, pizza. I mean, I would just eat food all night long. They've even fed me like other things that I won't even go into. But yes, I, I ate a lot in the dream. And when you wake up, what happened? How would you feel after that? Oh, um, I would feel full, like my stomach sometimes. Um, I wouldn't even be able to bend over. Like I would feel full like I was carrying around like 50 pounds of food. Um, and then other times if I drank something in the dream, it would be like I would feel liquid, it would be like liquid uh, running through my body. How has those dreams affected you emotionally? Well, anytime they would feed me in the dream, I would feel irritated. Um, I would feel angry. I would try to compose myself, like I would try to quote scripture, but I mean, they're so strong sometimes it was like, I, I would just like explode in anger um, and, and other just small sins, but anger is like the main one that they would try to use against me. Can you, um, as we saw the clip of you, um, an evil spirit was just manifested you, how, what happened to you at the prayer line last night? Um, well, in my spirit, I felt peace. Um, when I went see Apostle John Chi, but in my body members, I felt already a war coming on as he was approaching me. I felt uh, afraid, like in the pit of my stomach, I felt afraid. Um, I felt the hairs on the back of my neck stand up, um, and even my teeth started chattering, um, and I knew that it was going to be a big fight. Um, when he came up, I don't remember if he touched me, but I, I remember that... Uh, I started to try to resist him, and I didn't want to manifest. I was just trying to compose myself, um, but I knew it was going to be a battle. How are you feeling tonight after your deliverance, after you being set free? What can you, how, how, is, how are you doing this morning? I woke up, I felt refreshed, I felt happy, and excited to attend another day here. Amen. Do you believe that Jesus Christ has put an end to everything that was tormenting your life? I do, I do, I do believe, yes. What is your advice today for the people that ma might be here um, for the deliverance or they have not received deliverance? What do you want to tell them? Um, I just would like to say if you've passed through deliverance, you know, multiple times or maybe you manifest again, uh, don't be discouraged. I've had to pass through deliverance uh, multiple times as well. Um, and it doesn't mean just because you get, you know, one deliverance, you are free. But it doesn't mean uh, that the devil can't come against you again. Um, so just my advice would be to stay in the word of God. Um, make the word the standard of your life, but also to find, like Apostle John, she said, find a living church. Find a true church um, where, you know, the Spirit of God is present, where there's deliverance, where, you know, there's an anointed man of God present. We are so thankful and grateful for what God has done for you last night. And we encourage you today that um, you will keep God's word as a standard in your life as well. And you continue walking in your freedom and deliverance. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you.